Hey there. Good to see you. I'm Drake, or at DF Chocolate Milk. And welcome to the first mac and cheese review here at the Renaissance Cowboy. Now, as you probably can tell, I'm in a pretty fancy restaurant right now, you know, hence the mask and the suit and the background and kidding I'm in my house because COVID's a thing and I don't really want to go force myself on all these restaurants so we're just gonna start here with the basics that's right folks today we're gonna to be making crafts 99 cent box of mac and cheese and it promises to be the cheesiest here's everything we've got for tonight's festivities according to directly from the box we're going to need six cups of water so i filled that up so you guys don't have to see me fill up water four tablespoons of margarine or butter i don't know what that word is i've never actually cooked before so we're just going to use butter uh and there's my one tablespoon right there so four of those bad guys and then a fourth a cup of milk um, so the 2% expired yesterday, so we're using Prairie Farms fat-free. Not sure how it's going to change it, but hopefully we can still get some good mac and cheese that is the cheesiest. I already turned the burner on. We're using the power boil. Not sure if you can see it. And we're just going to pour this, pour this water in here. Good. No splash back there. Absolutely none. I'm an expert at one-handed mac and cheese making. All right, so maybe I could have picked a bigger pot, but we're gonna stick with it. It's gonna be one through five, no halvesies. Zero being awful, like literally can't eat, one being pretty bad, two being okay, three's average, four is good, and five's chef's kiss, perfect. And then, I'm going to average the three together from flavor, texture, and consistency and give an overall rating, again, out of five. So uh, I skipped ahead a little bit and I just put the milk in my jumbo size measuring cup. Um, it is a fourth of a cup like it called for. I know because of the like weird reflection thing, it looks like it's a full cup or two cups, but it's not, I promise you. It is literally only a fourth a cup. So we're still waiting for full boil, but I opened up the box and we're gonna see what we're working with. Um, so we've got a nice packet of definitely real cheese, can't be fake. Uh, you can tell just by how it sounds, it's not drugs, it is in fact cheese. And then we got some little little noodle strings in there. It's finally happening, so I'm gonna grab my noodles right here. I'm just gonna slowly but sensually dump them in. No stragglers. Look at that, clean box. And then we're gonna recycle it. Oh, there's one left. All right, then I'm gonna recycle it because I'm not a scumbag as we established when I returned my cart. Everything is going great. I'm stirring. It doesn't feel like it's getting caught on the bottom. We might have had a little bit more spillage, but you know, nothing. Nothing that's going to really make or break the meal here. And our timer, I set it for 7.30. That's exactly the number it shows on the box. It's happening, folks. The timer just went off, so I'm going to, I guess, hit we are off. sorry it's a it's an iphone i don't know what it's still going all right i guess i didn't hit it hit it good enough i have to press timer ah timer off instead of clear all right so now we're gonna drain this bad boy we're just gonna set set it like that and we're gonna come back here and uh probably should turn turn the burner off <laughs> yeah i do i've done this before don't mind the dirty dishes they're not mine they're my family's i swear do not recommend making mac and cheese in a suit and tie but hey at least i've got shorts on 
and not pants. So water looks like it's pretty much gone. It says we're supposed to uh, bring it back into this guy. Let's make sure we do this right. Uh, we drained and now we have to return it to the pan and that's when we add everything else. Oh, I lost a single noodle. F in the comments for that noodle. And now it says we just uh, butter first, then milk, then cheese. So we're gonna get started on that. All right, now it's the moment you've been waiting for. Rip the cheese open, we're just gonna. And I know what you're thinking, like, Drake, did you use that entire fourth of block of butter? And you know, I did the alignments and it was as close as I could get actually to four tablespoons. So uh, we can actually recycle you now. And we're gonna stir this guy up. No, it'll probably be nice if you guys could see it. Yeah, that's a maybe a little little bit of butter. Maybe I'm uh Can you hear that? I really want to make a Vine reference, but you know, I know I've got some kids watching this, so I'm not gonna say that, even though I definitely have said some things that aren't kid-friendly, but oh well, let's, uh, I think that's enough stirring. Let's try this bad boy out. All right, here we go. I don't know how much is gonna go. Hopefully just as much as I can get. Hopefully it's not like unreasonable. Hopefully this doesn't require me to need two hands. I'm kind of busy. Wow. Oh, wow, look at that. Has to be the one-fourth cup for sure of milk. Well, uh, I'll scoop that out off camera. But now it's time to, you know, actually eat it and see what it's like. Now, I know this is a heavy debate in the world on fork or spoon. Uh, this is my show. It's Spoon. The spoon captures all of the cheese that would fall in between the grates of the fork. Uh, any add-ons, obviously, there's nothing for a 99-cent box of just original flavor, cheesiest mac and cheese. Wow, you can see the steam. It's going to be fucking hot. But I'm excited. Uh, I did not eat dinner. It is 8 o'clock, and uh, let's just uh, let's see if we can look at that. Wow. Professional camera guy here. So let's just get get into it. I'm gonna go. Uh, it's pretty simple here. One scoop. That's all it takes. Okay. Flavor is definitely gonna be a two. Um, there's just not enough cheese from the definitely real, not fake TM craft trademarked cheese. Texture, I'd say probably three. It's average. Uh, the noodles get tender, but they're pretty basic, boring noodles. And for consistency, I mean, that's something that obviously requires more than one bite. So let me, let me try and get from different parts of the bowl. Oh yeah, consistency is definitely going to be about. This is going to be a two. It's going to be a two all around across the board. Kraft's ninety-nine cent box of mac and cheese is a two out of five, according to me. DF chocolate milk, not DF mac and cheese. Take my word for it. I'm going to eat this and not make you watch all of it. So I don't know. Um, like subscribe, share. It's free. It's not going to kill you. And if anything, it'll help me move out of my mom's house faster. Catch you on the flip. Mm -hmm.